It's become like the main thing in my life. I'm either here or I'm home. That's the thing about Holy Word. It is a little different. I think this year was a huge turning point allowing males into the program here. I'm not saying that we were never allowed to, but I guess we just never appealed to having male figures in the color guard itself because people look at color guard as a feminine sport, even though I really don't think so because it is an art form, so it does require dance and it is a little bit more flowy, but that doesn't mean that it makes it a feminine activity in my opinion. It's a difficult sport. There's a lot of injuries that happen, and so for people who think that color guard is very feminine, it's wrong, very wrong. I personally enjoy having guys in the guard because it just shows that anybody can really do the sport, males, females, any body size, like anything. I actually really enjoy it because I think the stereotype with color guard because it's such like a dance-based sport, fine art sport, that it really opens a new perspective onto the color guard and that both genders can join and you know both genders can be amazing at it and it just yeah it opens up, opens up a new perspective to color guard so whenever we got a new band director mr byers he incorporated a lot of dance into the band program and i felt very intrigued by it and um, doing my research i found on youtube a show and it had Mr. Byers in it, and I didn't even realize it until I watched it again. And so seeing someone that I look up to, especially music-wise, doing Color Guard kind of intrigued me and kind of inspired me to step my foot into the activity. I enjoy how expressive Color Guard allows me to be. I kind of imagine it as art and dance combined. And so it allows me to just take what I have, whether it be a weapon or my body, and bring my emotions out and express myself. I like the people. People, I've gotten really close to them. Like, first day, everyone was talking to me, and I was like, wow, this is, this is really nice. Everyone's nice, everyone's welcoming. I have close friends now. I've made so many more friends. I'm more comfortable with them. Um, the color guard director from Montero, he's amazing. I, I love the guy. Like, he helps me out so much with everything. He's always helping me improve and become a better person, as well as the, the color guard tech, Alejandro. Amazing guy. I used to actually march with him. Uh, my, um, my freshman year, his senior year at Cy Ranch, which was really cool. And whenever I saw him, I was like, wow, that's really cool. And he's also one of the reasons why I decided to do Color Guard. He was like pushing me to try something new, and I was like, you know what? I'll do it. Like, I'll try it. Color Guard has helped me appreciate the small things in life, emotionally. And it's helped me come to terms with a lot of emotions that I've been feeling, and it's helped me get out a lot of emotions that I've been feeling. It's kind of helped me bring my emotions to real life through my show, and it's helped me have a better understanding of myself. It, it's, it's very time consuming, I will say that. My parents have gotten on to me for having too many practices, and like, just get practices, and I'm like, like I can't, like, I have, to, I have to beat these practices, they're really important. I can't miss out, because if you miss one practice, you miss so much, and it's just, it's very time consuming. It is what I expected it to be, dancing, lots of stretches, you know. I can't really get most of my stretch. I'm not very a flexible person. It's still hard to get some things down, but I'm slowly getting there. It's been great. I've met a lot of friends. All these people that I used to never talk to, they're kind of my family now, and so, I don't really know how to describe it. It's just kind of an out-of-body experience being with your family um, and doing something so active and emotional and involved. It kind of gives you a bond with each other.